What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Fresh Air Outdoors TV. I'm doing something kind of fun today. Uh, I'm gonna go catch some little tiny fish uh, because uh, my buddy Shane, he was you've seen him in some other videos. He's uh, trying to get his degree in marine biology and so he needs some little tiny samples of fish. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go catch maybe a green sunfish and maybe some perch or something. See if we can get something in that size range that's still legal to keep. So, uh, I'm about to head over to a little creek and uh, see if I can't catch one. Okay, so I wasn't recording because I didn't think I was actually going to catch anything, but here, check it out. Oh, here's where I'm fishing, by the way. Little creek, little creek. And from the little creek, got a little green sunfish. There he is. So, oh, hey. Oh, my gosh. No way. I found my topwater frog. <laughs> Why was it in the minnow bucket? I've been looking for this frog for like ages. Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'm super pissed because uh, uh, I caught that fish, but my camera wasn't rolling whenever I caught it. Uh, so, uh, and that's the only one I caught tonight. Uh, but mission accomplished. Uh, we got the little tiny fish that we needed. We're gonna take him home, get him in some alcohol, get him drunk until he dies. What a way to go. Okay, so this is the fish that I caught. This is a green sunfish. Uh, you can see he's a pretty cool looking fish. Uh, I'm about to, this is actually not moonshine. It looks like moonshine, but it's not. This is a mason jar full of isopropyl alcohol. Unfortunately, this guy is about to go in there. Okay, so quick update. Fish has been uh, euthanized humanely. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, Killing fish with alcohol is, I guess, like a scientifically like approved method of euthanizing fish or something. Anyway, there's a slight change of plan. Shane called me and said not to put it in just straight up isopropyl alcohol because within a couple of days the fish would lose all its color. Uh, so I put it in a mixture of water and alcohol and froze it. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I guess I'll just, if, if I wasn't clear enough the first time, uh, I'll explain why. I usually don't keep fish, especially not green sunfish, I always throw them back, uh, but this is for uh, a science project that Shane is doing at Texas A&M. Hey, what's up, dog? What are you doing? So, but anyway, he's got a class where he needs a whole bunch of specimens uh, of fish uh, under six inches or smaller. This one was exactly six inches long, so I was like right on the, on the dot there. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. I, I might make more videos like this, I might not, who knows, but uh, I am going to be keeping specimens to ship them off to old Shaney boy uh, down in Galveston. So thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in next time for more outdoor adventures.